Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be starting our qualitative analysis experiment. In this experiment, we will identify a wide variety of ions from a mixture. Today, we will be focusing on the chloride group. The precipitating reagent for the chloride group is chloride ion in an acidic solution. Only silver, mercury, and lead precipitate with this reagent. However, we will only be working with silver and lead. Let's get started. We're starting with a test tube with three milliliters of our test solution. And we're first going to add three drops of six molar hydrochloric acid to our test solution and we'll mix thoroughly by stirring with a glass stir rod. We then need to centrifuge our test tube with our test solution. And when you're centrifuging, always make sure that you have a balance in the centrifuge. After centrifugation has completed, we need to remove our test tube with our test solution. And you can see that all of our precipitate has been centrifuged to the bottom of our test tube. And we're going to decant the liquid from our solution into another test tube labeled S1, which stands for solution one. We'll then add a couple more drops of six molar hydrochloric acid to our S1 test tube to make sure that we precipitate all of the silver or lead from our test solution. We added a couple more drops of six molar hydrochloric acid and no more precipitate formed. Therefore, precipitation of the silver and lead ions is complete. If our starting test solution were to contain other ions outside of the chloride group, we would need to stopper our test tube with the S1 solution and save the S1 solution for further analysis of those other ions. We will next wash the residue from our test solution or R1 for residue one with a couple of milliliters of deionized water. We'll stir and then we will centrifuge. Once centrifugation is complete, we can remove our test tube with residue one and discard the wash liquid into a waste beaker. Our residue R1 is now ready for further analysis of the group one or chloride ions. We will now perform our test for lead ion. We're first going to add three milliliters of deionized water to our test tube with residue R1. And we will heat our mixture to near boiling in a hot water bath while stirring. After heating our mixture to near boiling, we need to remove the test tube from the hot water bath and centrifuge our mixture. After centrifugation has completed, we'll remove our test tube and decant the solution, which will designate as S2 into a new test tube labeled S2.
to our test tube S2, we will add several drops of one molar potassium chromate. The formation of a yellow precipitate will confirm the presence of lead ion. This is a confirmation of the presence of lead ion. We next need to wash our remaining residue, which we will designate as R2 for residue two, with several portions of boiling hot deionized water, we'll centrifuge and discard the washings in a waste beaker. Our residue R2 is now ready to test for the presence of silver ion. We will now test for the presence of silver ion. To our residue R2, we will add one milliliter of six molar ammonia. We will also add two milliliters of deionized water. We will stir and then centrifuge. After centrifugation has completed, we will transfer our solution to a new test tube labeled S3. We will then acidify our S3 solution with dropwise addition of six molar nitric acid until a blue piece of litmus paper turns red. The formation of a white precipitate confirms the presence of silver ion. The formation of white precipitate confirms the presence of silver ion. You can see that our solution is now acidic as a blue piece of litmus paper has turned red. Okay, students, that concludes our test for the chloride group ions. Thank you for joining me for this experiment.